We're staying here at the Atlanta Colonies RV Park in um, Iowa City, Iowa. The weather's been really crappy here in Iowa, but this is actually considered a nice day right now. It's overcast and windy. Anyway, we always drive through Iowa, but we never stop, so we decided to stop. There's one thing I've been wanting to do for some time, and that is do a test on this DJI Mavic 2 Zoom drone that it was a gift to me from a friend. And uh, they bragged that, uh, DJI brags that the that drone will fly for 30 minutes, 31 minutes actually. I've never flown this without the iPhone being inserted in here and using the iPhone as uh, my, with the controller and using the app. I'm gonna try to fly it without it, but I'm not going any further than this table. Well, I think I'll be okay. I've already calibrated it calibrated the drone. We're going to turn this on, turn this on, then you push this down fast, let up and pass again. And you see it's set up. I'm going to see what happens. The way you give it flight or you start it is you pull these two joysticks together, pull them in and down. And that starts it. And then in order to launch it, you simply push this joystick up. We're going to start counting. Started. I've got this little clock here. It's at 335. We're gonna launch it and see if it lasts 31 minutes. 335. But we're gonna do an increment for 36. Windy here and it's cold. It's almost May. Two more days will be May, but it's cold here in Iowa. It's actually quite stable in the wind. I've taken it up 400 feet in the wind and it does move around a little bit, but it's real stable. That's the max you can take it, it's 400 feet, FAA regulation. You have to be licensed to fly one of these, which I am. Simple test. You don't fly one of these near an airport. No. 37 minutes, or 337, we started at 335. It's been two minutes. This first time I've flown it without the iPhone being hooked up to uh, the controller. In other words, I'm not running it through the app. I'm not operating it through the app, the DJI Go 4 app. It's just me and the controller. I have flown this downrange, this very drone downrange, 4,000 feet before. And I get a little nervous and I bring it back. 4,000 feet, as you know, is four-fifths of a mile, just about. 339, we started at 335. It's been four minutes. We're staying here at the seven colonies, the seven Amana colonies near Iowa City. We'll turn it around and let it record itself. I think I'm recording. Like I say, I've never done it without the iPhone. But there's this red button right here. And I think that's recording. Recording itself being recorded, I think. Seven minutes. Now, when it gets to 25% battery, it'll start wanting to land. I've got it set for that. That way you can return to home. If you're off somewhere, typically, you're not gonna be able, you're not gonna be able to see your drone. It's gonna just be gone like a dot in the sky. And so what you would do is you touch this, press this button right here, it's return to home button two times fast, and it'll ascend to 90 meters and then find its way back home. It has sensors on all four sides, plus the bottom. And finding its way home, if it comes across an obstacle, if it gets too close to an obstacle, it'll stop and find its way out of it and find a way around it. It'll keep doing that until it finds an open space. I've done, I had that happen. I had that happen in Zion National Park. I lost it. You're not even supposed to fly them out there. I didn't know that at the time. And I pressed this button and I don't even know, I didn't know where it was. And all of a sudden, there it was above me about a hundred feet or so and it started coming back down right, right next to me. It was eight minutes, 10 minutes. We started at 3.35, it's 3.45. It's been hovering for 10 minutes, and I ran it about a minute before that. So really it's been 11 minutes, 11 minutes. I took it up six inches or so. Now we got 52% battery here, 52% battery, and it's been 13 minutes. Just using a little bit of mathematics, it would only last 26 minutes, or 27 maybe. 14 minutes, it's been hovering. Our battery's at 46%, 46, like that. In order to get a full battery, you need to deplete the battery completely, drain it down to zero, 
to then charge it completely all the way back up to 100%. You'll get the most out of your battery that way. Like we're drifting a little bit. You can see the RPM here is like five and a quarter, 525, between 550 and 500 RPM. That doesn't seem like a lot, does it? You see the word obstacle, it has obstacle avoidance system on it. That's what I was telling you about earlier. And it's detecting an ob obstacle right now, which is us and the RV. Okay, we're at 35% battery and 10% more, it's gonna be asking to be landed, which we'll do and we'll do some math there and figure out if it actually would have made the 31. I don't know, I'll see when we get there. But it's been 17 minutes, 17 minutes so far. I'm gonna pull you away from this just a moment. I'm gonna show you something. Can you see that eagle? Let me see if I can get him behind me. Can you see him behind me? It's an American eagle. And the nest, see if you can see the nest. It's way over there. Let's see, let me walk out here. You see it way in the distance back there behind that building, the one tree that's maybe a little bit taller than the others. There's two eagles in that nest, American bald eagles. I'm gonna try to get some uh, video of them. Anyway, let's get back to our drone that's sitting there by itself. Our, our fly, uh, hovering by itself, not sitting. That is at 26%. We're gonna see what happened in one more percent. It'll be asking to land. See it? It's telling me low battery. Now that's right at 20 minutes. Because I started 3.35 and actually ran a minute before that. So 3.54 or 20 minutes, it's asking to come down, which expended 80%, wait a minute, 75% of the uh, battery. We're gonna wait and see. I've never done the test. What would happen if I let it actually run out? I think it'll just land. I don't think it'll fly off, but I'm gonna keep this in my hands because I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Plus I say I had it going for a minute before that. According to them, it should go another 10 minutes. I don't think it's gonna make it. According to DJI. Okay, we're at 20% battery. Getting serious now. Okay, 18% battery. We've been in the air 21 minutes. 17%, 10% battery. 22 minutes, 14% battery. I, I think I have the camera on, on the drone. That probably is taking some of the energy from the battery. In fact, I know it is. So had I thought about it, I would not have turned the camera on if it, in fact it is on. We'll see. 11% oh. battery, 10% battery. We started at 335, it's 358. 23 minutes in the air with the camera running, I think. I think the camera's running. 8% battery. I think it'll just land on its own. 359, actually it's been in there now 25 minutes. 25 minutes, we got 5%. 2% battery, just about out of battery. 1% battery, four o'clock, it's been 25 minutes, 26 minutes. With the camera running, I think the camera's running. 0% battery, 0%. I don't think it'll just fall out of the air. I think it'll actually land itself. There's a bald eagle over there. You see him fly by? That's that bald eagle. We've been at 0% for some time now. It landed on its own. Ran out of battery and landed on its own. It's 4.02. That's 27 minutes. Actually, 28 minutes. That's not bad. There you go.